Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be making a puff mint slice. Now this used to be called a seasonal recipe but unfortunately we sell things like this all year round. Mince pies, hot cross buns, so there is no such thing as a seasonal recipe anymore. But mainly this recipe is normally done at Christmas or one of many. And don't forget your recipe is down below in the description. And also down there you'll find a number of playlists that may interest you or not. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. Anyway, we'll get right on with the recipe. Now for your recipe, you need puff pastry. Now I did a video recipe previously on make, how to make puff pastry. Now I'm not gonna go back round through that one again. I will share the link down in the description and also you'll find a link up here, or it could be up here. And if you make up that block, that'll be plenty. And if you've got any spare, you can make apple turnovers if you want to. Or alternatively, you can buy puff pastry. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I've heard one or two people say, how come we can get, we can't seem to get as good puff pastry as you, Steve? Well, I do get mine from a, a reasonably good supplier. So it saves me having to make puff pastry. Right, so your ingredients is puff pastry, minced meat. You want a tray, some silicone paper, and a docker, and most likely a rolling pin. First thing we need to do is roll out our puff pastry. And this is what I made previously. Just roll it out a little bit. Now your pastry wants to be around about three mil thick. And look at that almost spot on. So you've got your puff pastry, fold it in half, line it down, and just cut it. It's almost like paper, isn't it? So you've got two sheets now. Take one off for the top, and there's your base. Give it a shake up. All we need to do is dock the base. Now, do you want this to go almost through? Give it a shake. Right, now we're gonna fold it up. And now we need our tray. This is straightforward silicone paper, or you can use baking parchment. So I'll put that straight onto the tray. Just take it out to the edges and drop your pastry onto it. Oh, hey. When you said that clever, it fitted first time. Excellent job. And can you guess what we're gonna be doing next? Yeah, all we're gonna be doing is putting our mincemeat on. I haven't weighed the mincemeat at all, so I don't know how much is here. And with this recipe, you put on what you want. Bear this in mind, if you put on too much, it will spew out everywhere. Use your hands, spread it over the surface, Spread this on so it's nice and evenly over. Right, now the best bit. Better go and wash my hands first. So the trick is now, this is the best way of doing your, getting your pastry on to your top, is to use a rolling pin and roll it up onto a rolling pin first. We're literally gonna just roll it over the top. Take it up to the ends and just roll it over the top. It's that simple. I 
and pull out your paper. You can tell I've been doing this for years, can't you? I've been making this since I was 12. And just get your rolling pin and just roll it over the top, just to flatten it down a bit. And get your docker. And all we're going to do is dock the top again of the pastry. Now if you dock it too hard, you won't get any puff. So the idea is not to dock it right the way through, just sort of partly way through. And that's what you call a very easy recipe. So the next stage is very, very easy. So we need some straightforward water. This is a little spray bottle. Very, very easy to use. I find that's the best way of putting any water on. And granulated sugar. So we're gonna spray the top. Straightforward water over the top. And with your granulated sugar, just sprinkle it over the top. Well, there you go, folks. Wasn't that nice and easy? And there's your puff mint slice. Okay, we've now got to bake it. But first and foremost, we need to wait at least 30 minutes for the pastry to recover. Because if I put it in now, the pastry will just shrink up like this. So we need to rest it. And now it's time to put your oven on. Now your oven temperature wants to be 200 to 220 Celsius. And now it's time to get your puff pastry sliced into the oven. Now we're gonna be baking this for 30 minutes. Now, 15 minutes in, take it out of the oven and turn it round so it bakes evenly. Because if your oven's anything like my oven, it's a pain in the butt. Yep, it seems to be all over the place. Anyway, we'll get her into the oven. While the puff mint slice is ready, We'll go and get it out of the oven. And there's our puff mint slice. And now we've all got to wait at least a good, well, I reckon a good hour for it to cool down so I can actually cut it all up. That doesn't half look good. And I can't wait to eat some. The puff mint slice is now ready to slice up. So what you need is a cloth, a good knife, and a jug with some water. This is really essential. The cloth is for keeping the knife clean and obviously the water helps as well. Right, we'll get and cut her up. Take her out. Now, at home, you don't need to cut the edges off. But for work, I always cut the edges off. And today, I'm most like, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave them on because there's nothing wrong with them. So I've decided that if I go down there and there, so I'm sort of like here and here, that's right. I think this is gonna make about 15 slices with a bit of luck. So we'll cut down there. We'll cut on, yeah. There is. Oh, that's lush. Mm hmm. I could eat that. Well, there you go, folks. Wasn't that nice and easy? Well, if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget, your recipe is in the description. And we'll see you again very shortly. But before we do that, let's see what it tastes like. Mm hmm. And that minced meat is to die for. Um, that would be another recipe I'd do for us. Because you'll love to know how I make that minced meat. Mm.
and we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel in the Crazy Baker kitchen. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!